Okay, continuing from part one. Still not giving up, but uh, run into a huge issue. Thought that it's done, that you know it's done, but managed to get around it. These connectors here are very tricky, very fragile. You have to unplug these. Um, well, this one you have to because it's the antenna, Wi Fi antenna, which is part of the battery. And there was one here which, when I was trying to unplug the actual connector that's soldered onto the motherboard, just came off. And there's no way of putting it back on. So what I did, I took the wires and soldered them back on straight onto the motherboard. That just alone took me like quite a long time because uh, if you like even those those circles here are way bigger than what I had to solder these wires to. It's like a speck dot, two dots that you have to solder the wires to. So that was <clears throat> one issue that was the hardest part of the whole thing to do. Okay, so basically the battery, going back to the battery, um, dead. It's about 300 milliamp battery. You take off uh, Wi-Fi antenna and the controller. So I basically cut the prongs to the battery, the, connect the connectors to the battery, and soldered new wires to it, which are going to go to the battery that I'm going to replace it with. And I'm using the... Um, 16 8, 18 650, uh, 18 650 battery which is right here this one is about 2000 milliamps 2100 somewhere there so a lot lot bigger capacity than the original one the problem is you can't put it in here you gotta find a way to hide it so this is what I did um, you can get these on Amazon these are um, basically like an extender bracket that you can change the angle of the camera so in my case I want the camera tilting up and at the same time i want it tilting to the left so as you can see it tilts up and to the left and just perfectly sized to fit the battery inside so basically this whole thing is going to become one part of the camera with the battery inside behind it so i'm going to continue on um okay let's see what else is here oh one more thing about the controller for a moment i thought uh, that the controller might be bad but I tested the controller and the controller is fine, 100%. So definitely the battery is just done. Well, it's been like two and a half years or so, I guess. That's the lifespan. It looks like people are gonna think it's garbage, can't fix it, but yes, you can. 
Okay, I'm going to assemble um, the whole thing and I'm going to test it in part 3, see if uh, the battery was actually the issue, why it was totally dead and uh, if it's possible to get it fixed with the 18650 battery.